That's it. That's how you do it. (laughs) What it be? TBK family. It's your boy RJ. I'm here with my bro. Man, Star made over in the building. I feel good, Landon. I feel good. Hey, give it up for our artists, though. <laughs> 3K few. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna add a... <laughs> Keep going up. Yeah. Gonna add a number each time. My guy, keep going up. <laughs> he said, where his boo at? I guess. That's what's up, man. I ain't know she was around, but you know. I'm not fighting for real. I'm scared of See how we got it. Mm-hmm. We're about right. to put RJ to the test today. Hey, bro, would you ever date? Why, though? You have to open your eyes to a lot of stuff, man. Things don't get open until you open your eyes. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Listen, whatever bad relationship you had, blame it on them. Do not blame it on the alcohol. Do not blame it on the. <laughs> Don't Jamie Fox me. Nah. But it's not even that because even with the past relationships, I was the one that was doing the adventurous stuff. Like if it was something that we were supposed to like go out and do and be planned and all that, like. They wouldn't do nothing rambunctious. That would always be me. So you feel like no other chick would be able to match you or something like that? I never said that. You never said that, though. What? That no other chick would be able to match me? Or that if they would? I don't know. Or because... Are you relationship scared? Am I relation? No. I'm just scared that like the next relationship I get in, bro, but really gonna be oh wow, and that's gonna be the scary part. You what? Like I feel like it's really gonna be the one. I mean, and that's the scary part. I think it's possible due to the fact that I mean, you have I mean you have a different way of thinking now, you know, and uh, I believe that. The structure and the foundation that you're up under now is going to be very beneficial for you. Yeah. So, number one, you recognize. Number one, you recognize the BS. Mm-hmm. That's the belief system. <laughs> Don't you even try to say that. I got you. Over. I got you. So, but uh, that's my BS belief system. A lot of times we get in a relationship because we have we. And we realize we have different belief systems. Mm-hmm. So I think now your belief system now is stand firm to this. And don't break away from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's scary, isn't it? A little bit. A little bit. So what are you doing to prepare for that? Besides being up under... Uh, some great tutelage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, now it's more of the. Uh... Oh snap! They couldn't even see my beautiful face. I mean, I was chilling. Though. So with this next one, mm-hmm. being the Neil. So what should be the red pill or the blue pill? Break down what you mean. If you had to choose, Neil had to choose. 
Will she be the red pill or the blue pill? What's the difference? What you mean? That's what I'm saying. Break it down for me. If you had to, cho- if you had to choose, mm-hmm. which pill did Neil choose? I do not remember, bro. That's why I asked you, because I definitely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I, mean, I, I will not lie to you like that. I definitely forgot. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, just, that's, that's my uh, thing right now. What? Like, uh, I'm scared if we're gonna be the one. I ain't gonna know what the heck to do. I think it's because, like, in all the past relationships, I've always been the one to love the hardest. And then I'd always hear the statement, and this literally in every single one, except for uh, Until, uh, everyone, except for um, what the serious relationships. Like I didn't really have serious relationships till I got in high school. So you about you heard this in every single relationship, all the serious ones. Yes, what you're about to say right now. Yes, you've heard it all before. Yes, maybe this, maybe that. Yes, your lies ain't working now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we've always said that. Uh, I never feel like I'm a. Uh, this was she. They would say to me, "I never feel like I'm giving enough. I don't feel like I'm a good enough girlfriend for you." Who? So they would say that to you. Yeah. All right. Did they ever give accountability of why they felt like that? Mm-mm. Cause she had brought it up uh, when she came up here, and she had she had asked me. She was like, uh, "If we dated now, you think we'd work out?" I said, "I don't know." <laughs> she said. Is this after the dude or before the dude? Which dude? The relationship she was in. Or was she always in a relationship? Nah. So, we got to think of a name or something like that. So, this chick Mm -hmm. was your first love? Yes. Like, the very first girl I've ever truly been in love with. Not just saying it to me like, yeah, I love you. No, this how, girl right here. How old was you? What, when I fell in love with her? Yeah. Sixteen. But you ain't know about no love, sixteen. <laughs> I used to hate when adults used to say that to I was me. sixteen, bro. Because that's when I had first moved down there to Albany. And that was the first person that I really talked to that I started getting comfortable with talking to. Because when I first moved down there, I was just like, all right, I'm going to stay to myself, do the work, go home. That's it. That didn't happen. So. Wow. That was the first person that I really talked to. And then. Okay, so 16. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. You got this chick. It's short. Mm-hmm. It's warmer. This girl. Yeah. So, at what point in this, were were y'all in a relationship? Oh, yeah. Or? Like, we were in a relationship for about a good six months. Was it a good relationship at first? Yes. (laughs) As things went along, that's when it got difficult. And that's why we broke up. Okay. What was the reason behind breaking up? Uh, Emotionally, neither one of us were ready for that relationship. Mm. That was was in the midst of everything that was going on when uh, my mom was finding out or finding out everything that I was supposed to be doing up here. Right. Like this is literally like right after I left. So, this is in the middle of that TK passed away that I didn't know about until literally 
like a week after because I didn't get no information. So that rocked me. And I was fighting that. I had started, uh, but me and my dad was arguing back and forth, dang near fighting every day. So it was a lot of emotional stuff that I was dealing with on my side. She was dealing with a lot of emotional stuff on her side. And then when we together, that didn't do nothing but lead into petty arguments because we didn't know how to handle those emotions and just talk about it. So y'all had misplaced anger. Yeah. That's what that is called. Listen, people, when you're angry (laughs) and you don't know the reason why you're angry, a lot of times it's just misplaced anger. Mm -hmm. And it happens in relationships all the time. It's like unresolved um, matters Mm. that was never dissolved. Mm. A lot of times we get a relationship. You understand when you're when you're in a relationship with somebody, you're bringing all your emotions, Mm -hmm. all your baggage, all your um everything to the table for the most part. Yeah, you know and um. You know, everything is always look good in hindsight. Mm-hmm. You realize a lot. I don't know my relationship. I just realize a lot. Like, man, ah, my do apologize. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you realize things man. you didn't know. Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. Going from that to, cause we was, we was close. And then after the relationship, that's when we stopped talking, like completely. And then, uh, like she tried to rekindle some stuff, but I really wasn't like trying to hear it. Cause I didn't wanna, like, she tried to uh, spark back up just a friendship with me. Man, you know she's gonna, she's gonna watch this. Oh, I know. We, she wanted to rekindle just a friendship thing so we can get back to talking to each other. Right. But I really didn't want to. Not at that time. So you were broken? Yeah. Hurt. Bro, yeah. I was dumb hurt. Okay. Well, let, let, let's let's, let's explore this hurt then, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. On ten. I cried for like three days. That's it? No, listen. You, you gotta let me finish. Uh, I cried right. for three days, listened to heartbroken songs for about a good First month of all, or two. Listen, <laughs> listen to the heartbreak songs. They don't help. They don't. <laughs> they make the situation worse than what it really is. I'm trying. I'm to talking about for a whole. And then the crazy part is like, this is why it got to me so bad. Cause we had like three classes together. And in each one of those classes, we okay, sat so, right next to each other, bro. So this is with her. Mm-hmm. On top of all the other stuff. So okay. <clears throat> Let's we're just doing casual talk right now. This yeah. is just, y'all just entered in on a conversation where me and RJ were talking about his past relationships and how sometimes he, you know, he, the scars from it he still carries today. So That's true. And he was talking about um, how he feels like the next one is going to be the one one. So, just get your speed. Mm-hmm. Now, emotionally, y'all wasn't built for the platform y'all were at. Mm-mm. Okay. So. But it grew over the years like once we finally did like rekindle the friendship like now you talk you see us talking it's like okay now is it is it friendship or is or does the friendship have a mask on it for me and me personally I can't speak for her but I can speak for me all right there is friendship. But that don't deny the fact that that's still my first love. Mm. 
So, um, are you even looking for anybody else? Yeah. Ladies, listen. <laughs> I knew you was going to do that. What? What? This is casual conversation. This ain't, all like it is. I, this ain't like I can ask her. She can't say nothing. Because, I mean, it, she's in a relationship. That's what I'm about to ask. Is she single now? No. So you know you what? know who I'm hey, talking about. I'm making sure that I don't know. You know who I'm As talking about. As the interviewer. Which you're my brother. You're my brother. Listen, you know right exactly now, who I'm talking right about. Now, I'm Mr. Mo, the interviewer. So so the thing is, listen, listen. Mm-hmm. Ladies, listen. Yeah, we're looking for a hard girl. <laughs> Relax, don't hype me up. Don't hype me up. Hey, yo, listen, listen. If y'all looking for a safe dude, honest guy, you know what I'm saying? Who 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 doesn't have corona? <laughs> you I don't, am corona bro. free. He is corona free. I am. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, let's get let's get that. I mean, we just joking. Nah, yeah. It was <laughs> <laughs> I think where I where I had messed up, bro, it's like the back to back to back to back heartbreak. Okay, let's explore these back to back to back heartbreaks. Oh gosh. Let's not let's not go into too much detail. I got you. I got you. So it started it started off with the first love. Right. After that, I was like, you know what? I'm chilling. I'm cool. I'm gonna be alright. <laughs> then it was the second chick. And that's when I learned that, like, I got to maintain my mentality. Like, yeah. Now, you said this is with the second chick. Mm-hmm. Right? This is, this is, uh. I mean, this is with the second, uh, female, woman, female, woman. woman. This is with, I don't think, uh, I don't think ladies like to be called chicks. This is with a young lady from Dawson. Okay, you, That's ain't gotta, the, you, ain't, you ain't gotta get a location. I'm just saying Dawson. Okay. That way we can have a hey. name to refer. We'll say Dawson Girl. Yeah. Dawson okay. Girl. Dawson Girl. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'm with Dawson Girl now. For what? It's, it's been, it was like on and off type stuff. Right. Only, be, <laughs> only because. I this was the one relationship where I dropped my morals. Oh. Like I knew what was going on. I addressed it the one time. Mm. And she got mad. So when it happened again, that's when I was like, okay. Mm. So let's get this straight. Mm-hmm. Dawson girl made you lose you. Yeah, that's that's when it first happened. First of all, that's a lie. <laughs> Listen, people. As much as we want to say somebody else made us lose ourselves, ultimately nobody can make you do anything mm-hmm. that you don't want to do. Now, well, let's let's say I, think- I was lost in the process. Okay, that sounds better, but I think to overall admit, like, yeah, I forced myself to lose my way to conform to what she wanted. Mm. That for sure said, I always said that I dropped my morals for that relationship. Yeah. I've always said that. Yeah. Because the first time it happened, I was like, my cousin told me. And I told, I was, I didn't really believe what he was saying at first because I knew how he played ball. Right. Like sometimes he would do stuff to get the same girl that I got. Whoa. This is a dirty cousin. 
Um, he didn't. He didn't like the whole. First um, of all, cousin, you need to relax. <laughs> he Get never, your own woman. He never liked the uh, wingman being better than the guy, mm. the main guy aspect. And I was always his wingman. It's a crab in the bucket mentality, right? Yeah. There. But go ahead. <laughs> nothing against your cousin. Not, not at all. Cousin. I, I still love him. Yeah, something but, against him still. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> But when he when he told me, I didn't believe him at first. But then I started noticing it like later. So when I did address it, and she got upset, like trying to put the blame on me. Mm. Whoa! So she tried to reverse it and flip yeah. it on you. Yeah. That's what's up, right? And then I was like, it's not a good wrestler." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, <laughs> bet." So I ended the conversation right there. Then she she came back apologizing. It was always that she'd come back apologizing. I'd be like, come on. I mean, it's, it's, it's the classic Ruben stutter. Yeah. You know, sorry for whatever <laughs> year we did. Uh-huh. Um, that's all that is. I'd always, you know, come so, on. So you and Dawson, you mm-hmm. and Dawson, girl, mm-hmm. um, how old were you? This was the year after. So I was 17. So you're 17. Yeah. Dawson girl. Right? Mm hmm. You lose yourself. Now, what time span mm-hmm. break in between before you get to another relationship? It's about a good. It's about a good year. So you waited a, you waited a year because we were on and off in that year. You and Dawson girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. In, in that year, and then my senior year, by the time it started, right. So that was by August 2016. Mm. That's when I completely said, "All right, I'm done with it." Like. Do, do whatever you want to do now so from there to the next relationship it's about I know exactly when it is February 2017 so we're looking at September October November December January six months so six months mm-hmm. that's when you're using your next relationship pay attention people now I'm going I'm going on Break down some stuff. Six months. Uh, six months. And you, then, and this was after. So, how many months in between with uh, first love? You got first love. Mm-hmm. How many months in between that and Dawson? Girl. Let's see. Now, these type of questions you can't ask me because I don't know. It's calculating. Eight. Eight months, right? Before you got with Dawson. Mm-hmm. Now, six months in between Dawson and yeah, head knob. Yeah. So we we, we need a nickname for this. Uh, let's go. Uh, Hold on, y'all. <laughs> You coming up with a nickname for uh, the let's, girl let's, after Dawson. Let's say business technology. Okay. BT. BT. Before BT. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I sound like I'm saying BT. I'm not, though. I said BT. <laughs> it felt like BT, bro. But, okay. So, you got uh, after Dawson, mm-hmm. you got BT. Okay, so... What happened with BT? Did you lose? Did you lose yourself in BT too? BT is when, when I, uh, I was confused, mm. and in the midst of confusion, I allowed my guard to be down. Again, I was fighting a battle within myself. Cause that's when uh, I started coming back up here. Gotcha. 
So getting that knowledge that I was getting then, mm-hmm. and then to go back home and be depressed and yeah, take my sorrows away through drink. Yeah, it was a very confusing time for me. Yeah, um, I would say consistency. Whatever you consistent, whatever yeah. you're consistent in, that's what's gonna breed. Mm-hmm. That's what's gonna come forth. So if I'm consistent in my word, my praying, my conversation with God, it grows strong. Yeah. That's when uh that was during the time that that my two mentors, you and uh Pop were trying were trying to uh <laughs> trying to break it off me. Right. That's when I at first like really started opening up yeah, about yeah. everything that really went down. Using the shell. Yeah. Using the crazy shell. Yeah. But continue. <laughs> That's when I started opening up about it though. So coming from that and feeling that and then going home and I was like, My dad not gonna listen to me, he always working. Mm. And I'm not playing soccer this year, so I don't have no outlet. Right, right. So let me get back to this bottle. Easy. Yeah. Because it's there. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. And then crazy part is during that time, that's when uh, number four was involved in this. Who's number four? Uh, the <laughs> recent one. Listen. listen. <laughs> I love everybody. <laughs> Yeah, she was involved. But in when I call a spade a spade, mm-hmm. that's exactly what it is. That's just that. For the most part, I'm a pretty good judge of character. Yeah, that's right. When, yeah, for the most part, I'm yeah. a good judge of character. And that's when, I've been pretty good, right? Yeah, facts. So you got BT mm-hmm. that went south. How did that go south? You said you lost your. Uh, you lost I let your my guard down. down. Yeah. Uh, she gave off a facade of mm. love, which wasn't true love. It was a facade. When did you find out that it was a facade? Though? When the role switch. It was like that. How did the role switch? BT got with me after she had uh, broke up with her boyfriend. So she didn't break up with her boyfriend. I was the side dude the whole time. Oh, you was a designated side dude. Yeah, but she played it. How as, all, she like, played it, it as if I was the main until she cut oh. it off. So she had you and another dude. Mm-hmm. So she was getting she was she had her cake cookies. <laughs> Strawberry short cupcakes mm-hmm. and everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, when you? I mean, how did you find out? Because I know for most part, most men, we're kind of clueless to that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, for one, her mom. Her mom told you. That you was it. So her, nah. Remember when I told you that you was a side dude or? No, nah, I found out because at the graduation, at my graduation, we graduated in the same class. Okay. Her mom ended up sitting right behind my dad and my stepmom and mentioned his name. Mm. My stepmom told me this. Is this somebody you know? Hmm? Is this somebody you know? That, yeah. Uh, because unsmartly enough, she told me about him beforehand. So she mentioned him as a recent or ex? As a ex. Okay. She played the ex car. Mm-hmm. Continue. So, Yeah. She she pulled the facade and put the wool over my eyes for a while that I fell for, which I shouldn't have. 
And this is the crazier part. So the only reason that we end up getting together is because like two months before I asked uh, four out and she said no because she was in a relationship. Four is um that, that was your last. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I asked her out. She said no. So I was cool. Right. Can't come to find no, out. Up. Okay, I got you. Look, look, okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell I mean, you. The, I'm gonna you tell you the now. whole backstory behind four. When, I mean, when okay. we get there, when, when we get to four, yeah. Now, are we sticking with four? Yeah. Are you? Are you don't want? You could just call her the final. We call her the final. The final straw. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, yeah, that's what final. we're gonna do. We're gonna do the final. Yeah. Okay. So you know what I mean, right? <laughs> If that was the final final stuff. Yeah. Then the next one. <laughs> Listen, if you out there next one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, but uh we on BT, right? Yeah. Okay. Things go south. Mm-hmm. What happened in the south? No, nah, no, nah, okay, we're in the south, but like what happened to make it transition to you said it was. I noticed trend. the uh, difference in communication. Right. Legit. Always. Communication is always. The I noticed key. the difference. If you, I, I watched how the conversation shifted. Uh, Normally, it'd be uh, attentive, very uh, to talk a lot, uh, and a lot of clingy statements. Got you. And that shifted from that to one-off answers, like one-word answers, and always having something else to do. Wow. And then that's when I was, I called her out on it. I was like, if something's up, you can just tell me. She never said it. And this is when the, uh, the message of, I care about you too much to let you go type thing started happening. Like, I don't want to lose you, so let's just be friends. This is when, when this conversation started. This is why y'all in a relationship. This is while y'all in a relationship. Yeah, this, this is towards like, the okay. end. Okay. Um, listen. Yeah, because the last few conversations. Okay. Was love involved? Yeah. Was love, so was it two way street or one way street love? Because this is different. Now I can love you. It was one way with the facade. Okay. That's what's up. So one way street. One way all the way. So do you feel like she ever loved you at all? Nah. Wow. No. Like never, never. Mm-mm. Never, never, never. Mm-mm. That's what's up. It's probably a like. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, a strong, strong like. like. <laughs> so it sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds about right. I mean, there's a strong light. I'm gonna show y'all something. Pay attention. I'm gonna sum all this up. This coming from a vet. One, one over her mom, her auntie, and her uh, stepfather. All of them, I was cool with. Right. Because her mom and her auntie were twins. So you build a relationship with her family. Yeah. Like went over there. Which is which is a got got in legal trouble because of it. All right, let's uh, move forward from the legal because I don't know if you clear up your warrants. Okay, wasn't it? Yeah, legal no, trouble. Remember when I told you I had to get my license again? Yeah, I had first got my license when I was in Albany. That's what's up. I was driving <laughs> illegally. So as punishment, because the cop that stopped me is cool, my dad mm. got him revoked. Wow. So let me get this straight. Because I was speeding. You got charges. Get, yeah. You got charges for her. 
speed hey, trying to get to the house. You know, um, what, why would you speed trying to get to the house? Though? Get to her house. Why? What happened? She called me. She called you to come there fast. Okay, so when you got there, I did it with the officer. But the officer didn't let you go. So I don't think they allowed doing that. Nah, I had to call my stepsister to come. Okay, so when you finally get to the house in this emergency that you're speeding. What was it? It better not been like it better not be like you know some chips was on the floor. Nah, she was uh, sick at the time. Sick of what? Nah, she had a cold or something. She had a what? A cold. The common cold. You talking about? <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, moving forward from that before I dive in on that. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Wow. Hurry up. <laughs> you gotta get here. I need you to take care of me. Uh, pity stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Move forward from that. So, after that, relationship. So how, how'd y'all break up? Uh, you just said this junk is over. Here. <laughs> no, you go your way, I go mine. The that message that she had sent because at this time she was uh she was prepping to go into the air force. Mm. Yeah, and this is when that whole fiasco started. Mm. <laughs> so she was prepping to go into the air force, right? And the week before, we were discussing how we was going to work this out. Mm. So it's kind of like she cut the tie before she left. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. I'm very interested. That The week before, we were talking about what we were going to do. She comes back a week later saying that right now she isn't ready for a relationship and she's in a relationship right? while she's in a relationship saying she doesn't want to lose me so let's just be friends said she didn't know how to say it to my face she sent it over text didn't oh, know wow. how to, didn't know how to say it to my face because she didn't know how I was going to react <laughs> what's the difference between a text and the call mm-hmm. come on now go ahead and so that was it. Any other time that she texted me for those weeks leading up to graduation, it would be like questions on if I had something of hers or if uh, she needed to give something back to me, <laughs> which she never did, by the way. She never gave you back your stuff? Took it all. Hey, listen, keep it. No, uh, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Wait. And, uh, <laughs> so then we we get to graduation. So at this point, the relationship is dead. We get to graduation. This girl literally avoided me the entire time. So at graduation, like went went out of her way to avoid me. Walk past me and my dad while we're hugging, sentimental, son, I'm proud of you, You di- we did it type stuff. Walked past us. Like, I didn't even want to say nothing to her. Right. At that point in time, but just walked past us. Mm. Like, deliberately. Well, you know, people do that type of stuff, you know. And then this is this is when it gets good, bro. All right, I like good drama. The week that she uh is taking her pictures uh for the um listing thing for the Air Force, it's three people in the picture. Mm. Her, her mom, and the ex. Told up. So the dude. That said, you know, that that in the beginning, mm-hmm. so he finished the race. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey. I wish I still had social media so I could show you, dude. Too. No, I'm good. Um, because it's crazy. We were both, <laughs> we were both light skinned with locks, bro. Sad. I, of course, I looked better, but you know, wow, still do. But uh, wow. But uh, it is what it. Are they still together? Nah, they split up too. <laughs> so she ghosts him too. <laughs> <laughs> And contacted right. me after the fact. Heartbreak. She's a heartbreak. Well, a lot. Well, I'll deal with that later on. Um. Man. So, you get to the final finale. Nah, we got one more stop. What? In between it? Okay. You you know about this stop? Okay. Let's talk about um. This is a uh, college. After BT, it was college. After BT. College. Mm-hmm. Okay, after BT is college. Yeah. Okay. Uh, college girl. Let's just call it that. True heartbreak. College girl. True heartbreak. Yeah. That's real. I think with this one, I I dropped everything. Mm. Like I was at my lowest with that. Like after, cause after BT, and I graduated. That's when I came back here. Right. And for those first three months, grind like the illest grind that I've ever put in. Right. Up until you know after that, that's when I started grinding some more. But for those first three months, I was on point. Even, even in uh, the fourth month of August, I was on point. Right. It was after that that when it went sour. Now, how many months in between? Before, yeah, BT. Mm-hmm. When was your next leap to college, girl? It was. It was. It was short. Mm. It was literally August. Mm. It was short. It was literally August. Trying to like jumped y'all. right in it too. I'm trying to so tell unexpectedly. Y'all. I'm gonna show y'all something. So Go unexpectedly. Go ahead. Yeah. So <laughs> I like this type of stuff. Orientation was before then. That was in July. Got you. Uh You know, did did all the college stuff at orientation, talked to everybody, did everybody got familiar. Somehow I end up becoming the funny guy. What's up? <laughs> that sounds about right. It was. <laughs> uh met her at this little orientation party that they was putting on. That's what's up. It it wasn't good. I left early. <laughs> I mean sometimes the parties are not that good. So that is. Go ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. As I was leaving that her friend or roommate at the time or was about to be a roommate, they were uh talking and somebody mentioned something about uh flirting. Mm. I really wasn't paying attention. I went back to the room. I went to sleep. I called sure. it a night. Got time for this. <laughs> Literally, the next, the next day, I go, uh, go to the office, the financial aid area. Right. My, uh, my sister was working there at the time. You, you know her real well. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna lie and say I don't. So I was but just I was just excited to go see my sister. I you know what I'm saying? I feel you. But sometimes I'm excited to see her. <laughs> She's pretty awesome. Yeah. But 
a college girl was in there got you with her roommate again mm. so we end up you know just chat chit chatting or whatever exchanging numbers right and it became text back and forth mm. nothing too crazy just getting to know each other type stuff wasn't really trying to dive in <laughs> no type of relationship got you because at that point i was still heartbroken over bt Right. And I had already made that statement that I ain't really trying to get in a relationship right Got now. Got you. Right. So it went from the chats to when, once we finally, you know, when school was finally in and moving in day happened, we linked up like day one. And then that's when it went down south from there. Mm. <laughs> because I think having the freedom to do like literally anything you want right then is it was scary not knowing, well, not heeding to the consciousness. Yeah. It's um it's a lot that go into liberty. Mm-hmm. And especially when you haven't had that type of freedom mm-hmm. before, it becomes it becomes a drug. Yeah. It becomes a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and it, that's why I think a lot of college students, college kids mm-hmm. go through. Like, from what, like, like I said, I've never been to college. <laughs> But, but you've been I've to college been to some college parties, <laughs> and the look in their eyes is majority freedom. Mm-hmm. No mom, no dad, tell me anything. So I'm literally about to just bug out. Mm. But I think for me, I was like at first, I was still in grind mentality, so I was ready to go, but. Over time, I started conforming to bad advice. Mm. Show me your surroundings. I'll tell you your yeah. future. Whoever you surround yourself with, I guarantee you, I can tell you your future. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So it became a never ending story of. When was I going to end it? When did I just like have enough? Because there were multiple uh, times where the relationship was not respected. Mm. From who though? Her. Mm. With other men, other women. What? Yeah. Um, with church members without church members all while I'm in a dorm room or our apartment I don't get it so you sound like this person is a nympho so let's get let's let's, uh, let's kind of backtrack a little bit yeah. <laughs> That was kind of a ton of bricks right there. Ah, oh, you said with other men, mm-hmm. this is basically cheating, right? Mm-hmm. So she cheated on you with other men, mm-hmm. other women, mm-hmm. other church members. No, no, she would. Uh, she would still. She would be with other church members while. Wow. Flirting or cheating. So that was her uh, go to. I'm with such and such, but ultimately she'll be cheating. You can say that, yeah. So she always had a scapegoat. Kinda. That was just one of them. Okay. It got 
It was it was crazy. I'm telling you. Continue. 